Hi friends, welcome to the channel once again. In this video, we will see how to create a Oracle image and a container out of it. Oracle standard edition image is not available directly in the Docker Hub. So only enterprise edition is available. So if you want to uh, have a, if you have a license for enterprise edition, then only you can give proceed to checkout and then pay for it and then get the image. But uh, uh, for uh, testing, uh, testing and uh, um, development purpose, we cannot afford enterprise edition. So we can, we should have a standard edition um, Docker image. So for this, this Docker image is red, not readily available. So we have to uh, compile it. So we have to build the Docker image from this repository. Let's go to this repository. This repository, I will give the link of this repository in the description. So I have, we have to clone um, this. So I am cloning the repository. And then go inside Docker images, Oracle database, and then single instance docker files so here we have the image to build so if i give the help for this image it will give you the list so here i have to pass the version of the image i need so i am going to try 19.0.3.0 so that is the version and then um, we have to give the standard edition so i'm going to give the option hyphen s and then run the command so if you see it, it will ask for the uh, zip file um, that we need to download from Oracle rep, um, website. So I'm going to download that from the Oracle website. So I can just go here and then say Oracle download. If you go to this folder, go to this link, click on database and then 19C standard editions, click on Linux, see all. Here you will see the file, this file. So you can just click on this file. It will ask for the license acceptance and then click download. So when you click download, it will ask you to uh, log into Oracle uh, website. So here you can give you, give the user, uh, your email ID and password. So I have already downloaded it. So or else you have to, if you don't have account, you have to click on create account and then um, create account and then download. So I have already downloaded the zip file to save time. So it is available in downloads folder. So I'm going to just move that from the downloads folder. This is the zip file. I'm going to move, move it to this current 19.3.0 directory and then run the command again. So I'm going to build the image of version 19.3.0 with standard edition. So now the build will start and uh, uh, it will read the Docker file. It will read the Docker file inside that 19.3.0 and then it will um, pull the recovered images from the repository and build. Let me show you the Docker file. This is going to take around 20 minutes. So meanwhile, I can explain you what is there in the Docker file. So this is the Docker file. So here you can see it is taking from Oracle Linux 7 hyphen slim and then it is running all the commands one by one. Now it is downloading the RPMs and installing inside the container. So I think now currently it is in this step. Maybe no this step. So it is downloading all the RPMs. So um, this is going to take some time. So I'm going to pause the video here and then come back and I will show you the progress.
now you can see it is installing few um, red hat packages enterprise linux packages inside the container again this is going to install 118 packages we will continue once this is done so this is about to complete 118 packages and then it is verifying the installation and it is completed now it's going to continue with the next steps which are mentioned here from base from base as builder so it is running all these steps now here you can see copy ch mode i think uh, this is the line which it is executing currently so meanwhile you will see the docker file so as i said before this is going to take the oracle linux 7 slim as base and then setting some labels and setting few environment variables here and then second set of environment variables these variables are used by oracle installation so this is the second set of variables as these variables are used oracle home which is used uh, previously defined here and then it is copying the setup uh, file and then running some commands to install oracle now it is unzipping few files inside the container which is an intermediate step you can see the so files zip files all these files are getting unzipped now after the unzip you can see do launching oracle database setup wizard from the docker file we can say it is still running this same scripts only and remember all these things are happening inside the temporary containers the final image is yet to be built so now you can see it has completed the setup of uh, oracle installation successfully set up software with warnings but still the final final layer is not yet built so all these things uh, till now all these things are running as uh, in a temporary containers some um, te temporary stage and layers only we still have to wait for the oracle final image to be built this is going to be take few more time few more minutes so i'm going to pause the video again yeah now you can see the final stage which is the final layer this layer has started now uh, from base it is running the ch own command so that all the permissions in that image will be in oracle user so you can see just running by a just by running a single script we are getting the oracle standard edition image ready uh, i know when we install it in the bare metal uh, by downloading the executable from oracle website we need a we need a red hat system uh, and then red hat operating system and then it is going to take a lot of time we need a ui user interface to uh, install um, oracle but you can see how simple it is with docker um, just by running a single script we are able to generate the standard edition image i will pause the video here once it is done i will again unpause meanwhile it is building the image i wanted to show you the uh, intermediate images which are getting created here you can see this image uh, the repository and tag are none so i think this is the image which is now currently copying this might be the final image i'm just guessing by seeing the file size and this is another temporary image the build is still going on and also you, we can see the 
containers temporary containers i think currently there are no containers it removed the temporary containers yeah now you can see the build is getting completed oh successfully we got the image final image after so much time you can see it took around 1000 minutes so now we can run the docker images command here and see our final image or oracle slash database 19.3.0 hyphen sc2 which is the standard edition 2 got created now we will start the container I'm just going through the documentation here for single instance so we have to run this command like this so let's start docker images docker run hyphen I am going to run it in a dash mode I am going to give it a name container a name oracle and then uh, the port numbers 1521 1521 I am going to map it to the host 1521 and then the management port number which is 5500 I'm going to map it to 5500 again and then the oracle SID so I am going to keep this oracle SID as uh, test and then password I am going to keep the password as password 123 and I am not going to map any uh, ok we will make it as persistent yeah we will give a other things are not required maybe I will create a volume persistent volume here in opt oracle and then map it to opt oracle ora data like this maybe I will or I will give a container oracle db container right and then I will give the docker image oracle slash database colon 19.04 meanwhile we have to create the volume this volume so I am going to create it in another window docker volume create docker hyphen oracle hyphen db so I am going to create this I am going to start the container now in the detach mode let's see the logs so here you can see again it is uh, copying the database file it, is, it has created the docker uh, um, database successfully and then now it is uh, preparing the db it is copying the database files and again this is going to take some time i am going to pause the video here now you can see uh, it has created the database files now it is creating the database oracle instance 36 percentage completed so meanwhile this is going on we will find a SQL plus uh, container so that we will be able to test once this container is up so I have identified one uh, guy with no slash psql container I will pull this image in the other terminal and then keep the command ready to uh, connect with our instance once it is ready 
it is pulling the image guy with no slash psql plus i have searched in the internet there is no other sql plus uh, container the other way what we can do is we can log into the oracle insta oracle container itself and then from there we can run psql command or we can use this container it is still downloading extracting yeah we got the image so we will see the syntax to connect should be psql yeah ps sql plus sys slash password and then this so i will copy this so we have to run docker hyphen docker run hyphen it temporary container i will remove it so i have to give the image and then the command so in this command i will replace this password with our password whatever we set and then in local host we have to set the ip address of this machine let me take the ip address so this is the ip address of my machine host machine i go going to enter this ip address and then the sid which is test so we'll, we can we can fire this command after our container is started we will see it is still going on it is not ready uh, so once the container is up then database is created and everything is done then we will fire this command so we will see the so here you can see health is starting maybe i'll run it here and show so you can see the text status of the container oracle container here you can see this health is starting so this should be should this should become healthy then only we can uh, fire this command so let's wait again wait for some time for the container to become healthy now you can see completing database creation after 50 percentage is completed so here you can see pluggable database 58 percentage 100 percentage created and then uh, sql plus is uh, it is running sql plus command to create the users whatever we have requested and then i think the database is ready to use now so i am just giving control c here so this is just a log follow right so i am going to connect to the container now Con uh, instance the uh, oracle instance which is running in my machine as a container so going to run this sql plus command so we are able to connect to the instance now correct to the database whatever we have created just now so that's all guys so we are able to create the uh, image oracle database 19.3.0 standard edition and we have created a container we will see the container status now it will be healthy and see here now this it is healthy now so we are able to connect to the container also with this sql plus client thank you guys